gotta love it. It's that time of the week. Another local treat to showcase here on Tasting Tucson. All right, Claire, if you've ever been to Feast Down on Speedway, yeah. you know the team in the kitchen likes to switch their menus up each month. So just in time, I asked Chef Doug Levy if he could whip up something simple and satisfying. So here's their twist on a side of fries. Chef Doug's walking us back to the kitchen where he's showing us these fried morsels so, aren't made of potatoes. This is to chickpeas as cornmeal is to corn. Doug says you might find these on other menus under the name panisse. It's sort of a, a chickpea porridge that's thickened and sat and then griddled. Time to heat up some veggie stock, which the staff at Feast make in-house. Add some olive oil and kosher salt. The same as making polenta or oatmeal or any sort of grain in liquid. Next, get your cauliflower ready. Feast recipe calls for two and a half cups, but you can have it to cook at home. This just gives it a little meat, you know, as it were, a little heft. We want a little more texture to it, so we're just going to take this head of cauliflower like so and kind of peel off those green outer leaves. Take a quick break and cover your pan with coating. Doug says you can use butter or olive oil here too. Next, bring that veggie stock to a boil. Doug says you want to reduce it to simmer and gradually whisk in your chickpea flour. Because you don't want to cook this too quickly. It'll get gluey and, and sticky. Now take your cauliflower and fold it in. At this point, you can add a little creativity and sprinkle in your favorite herbs and spices. This would be great with Mediterranean herbs like basil or oregano. It would be great with maybe some garlic. And you can see it hardly takes any time at all to do, right? Five ingredients and you have this end result. But we're not done yet. Spread the porridge in the pan, let set, and then start cutting into individual fries. Doug says how you prepare this mix will change its health benefits. The team at Feast likes to deep fry these for diners. I mean, everything's kind of crunchy and crispy and beautiful when you deep fry it, but, right? But we can't always deep fry everything. But why not try a version that's pan fried or sauteed? Give them a minute and flip them over and sear them again. And here is the moment of truth. Chickpea flour is so fine. There's not, there's not a lot of weight to it. What do we think, guys? <gasps> if only these restaurants opened at 5 in the morning. I know. I'm so <laughs> that hungry. looks so good. They need yeah. an early morning crowd for us. So yeah. you can imagine that's an awesome compliment to like a big, hearty protein meal. Doug totally. tells me at Feast they like to serve these with their hanger steak. So oh. you better come with a big appetite yeah. to eat all of that. Okay, that then. Great. And it doesn't like, take us much in the morning. So yeah, I'll, I'm done. down. I'm ready. I, I loved him explaining this again. Like you saw five ingredients. Yeah. That's all it took. You I can know. find the chickpea flour in usually a lot of flour aisles now, not just Whole Foods. I think it's much more so common easy. now. Yeah, cool. And the recipe is going to be up on the Tasting Tucson tab off kega9.com so you can follow along. Yeah, so nice. got to do that. That sounds great. Uh.